All right, let's talk about security for your XAMPP installation. This happens to be directed toward the folks in the Junior Jiffy Gaming Kit God JS uh, Pog. If you know what that is, great. If you don't know what that is and want to find out, you can try contacting us. You can contact us through this channel. If you're looking for general XAMPP uh, security information, remember ApacheFriends.org is your best source. So visit ApacheFriends.org and check it out. If you want to watch this video and see if it pertains to you, uh, be my guest. To find the security information, we refer back to our XAMPP Windows page. And I'm just going to search for security. And that takes us down to a matter of security, a must read with a link. This link will just jump down the page. And it has a little bit of information that you can read about security. The most important part is this link right here. That will um, take us to the security page in the uh, local server. Now, I need to start up that local server. So I'm going to go to the Apache Start link. I could have used my desktop, but I just went to the batch file in Windows Explorer. I need to be on this page anyway uh, later, so um, we'll show you what's happening with that. So now that the sh server is started, I'm going to copy this localhost security and then paste it into a window. I'll show you right now why I'm going to copy and paste. If I just click on it directly, I get this request, get, blah, blah, blah. It's filtered by my ABE. It's denied. And if we look in here under options, this is my NoScript running. NoScript is trying to protect me. Um, you may not have that same protection. I like NoScript for this reason, that in certain areas it does what it can to prevent me from doing something silly. I'm going to cancel this and leave my security settings the way they are. And I'm just going to open up another window and paste that link. If you're not running a NoScript type program, you could just click the link directly. This takes us to a page. If the page shows up in German, which it will the very first time that you run it, you can click here for English or whatever language is your preference. This gives us a readout of our current security situation. There's a complaint here about XAMPP being accessible to the network. My school, they don't know what's going on with. We'll find out about that in a moment. PHP My Admin is free accessible by network. And PHP is not running in safe mode. If we look down the page, there is a link that will take us to a form that will allow us to better secure our system. So I'm going to click on that. My school root password should be set, but it's the server is not even running, or it's blocked by a firewall. We'll find out what's happening with that in a moment. And here is one level of security that you can add to your system. It will introduce a slight annoyance whenever you first start up your browser and go to use localhost. You have to type in your username password. It's a very minor annoyance, so I would suggest um, trying this out. If you happen to have a good software firewall, and you're on a router which contains its own firewall, feel free to leave this out. If you're hooked up directly to the internet through a DSL modem, you may not have the kind of firewall protection that you want, in which case you can add this user and password. The choice is yours. Um, I don't feel that I need one on my current system, so I'm going to leave this um, blank. But I want to look further into this issue of the MySQL 
and see what that means for us and see how else we can further protect our system. If we minimize this and look at our XAMPP folder, you'll notice quite a few different batch files here and EXE files. We were using Apache Start. Long story, slightly shorter. When you use Apache Start, MySQL does not start up. If you use this XAMPP start with the EXE, it starts up. So that introduces another potential security risk. If you are doing software development that requires MySQL, then you'll need to start it up. At which time, worry about security. Right now, you don't have to worry about security, so leave it alone. Because you're not even running that server. They'll tell you if the service is off, it's 100% secure. There's another couple of security risks. One is in the normal installation of XAMPP, there's a FileZilla and a mail program. I can show you a full install, and you can compare to the USB Lite version. The main differences that we're going to notice right now is FileZilla FTP is missing and Mercury Mail is missing. Also, you won't find the send mail. You won't find any of that in the light version. So let's go back to the installed light system. Here's the installed light system. In this system, in this system, there is no FileZilla. There is no mail uh, service. There is SendMail, but there isn't a receiving a mail receiving program. So those are turned off. That's as secure as you can get. They don't exist. So that's another two out of the four main security risks. My school is not a running. We don't even have FileZilla, and we don't have a mail service. We don't have a mail service in FileZilla because we chose the USB Lite. Good choice. We don't have the um, MySQL service running because we chose to use the Apache Start rather than the full startup. So the fourth element that we should secure is the PHP MyAdmin. We could either delete this folder, but since we may need it at some point, and there may be interdependencies that we're not aware of, let's just rename this folder. So you give it some kind of name. Don't worry about the name I just put in. I will be changing that name after the video. This folder is now going to be very difficult for someone to guess in order to access PHP MyAdmin. PHP MyAdmin is a very powerful program that should not be accessible to the outside world, and this is one way of securing that. So through coincidence control and a little bit of effort on our part, I think we have an installation of XAMPP that will work for doing the HTML5 development, and at the same time, provide you with a modicum of security. If you want to go further, check out the ApacheFriends.org website and let us know what uh, you come up with.